This is everything you need to know about interfaces. Hello, hello everyone. It's our everything you need to know edition of NFTs Unlocked. This week, we're gonna detail everything you absolutely need to know about a specific NFT project, and then we'll let you know at the end whether we pass or pay the gas. So this week, we're gonna be talking about an NFT project called Web Generated Modular Interfaces. They're going by interfaces on Twitter, and that's how we're going to refer to them for the rest of the project but their acronym is WMGI, which plays off the popular NFT Twitter acronym, We Gonna Make It. This refers to everybody who's getting involved in NFTs, buying, selling, trading, making money, and it's a common term in the community for good vibes, you know, good luck to everybody, we're gonna make it. So to start off, we can look at the website here behind me and it's just one page. But like most NFT projects, we can head over to their Twitter page for a little bit more information. For this NFT project, Twitter is gonna be our best place to find information. This is where we found most of our research on here and um, we can see by their one page website, they don't have a ton of information about the project. They have a button that says Discord coming soon, but. There is no Discord right now, so we're focusing mainly on what's on their Twitter page. So we do know that Interfaces is going to be a collection of 10,000 randomly generated profile picture pieces of art. If we scroll through some of the art here, we can say that this is some kick-ass art. We love the concept here. The designers have done an absolute great job of making this 3D art look ultra realistic, but still has that playful cartoonish feel to it. Something that we think is gonna be really popular um, with this project, something really popular in the NFT space in general. As we do for all of these episodes, we like to kind of focus on three main um, indicators of if we like this project or not. So we're gonna start with the founders. The founders are Anna Kajda, Eric Kajda, and a um, pseudonym of best serve bold, but we did some digging and found his LinkedIn and his name is Daniel Linthwaith. So all three of these guys are designers or 3D artists or, um, you know, 3D renderers. They don't, none of them really have any experience with running a business or a NFT project, which is a bit of a red flag, but they do all have really robust um, art profiles and you know design portfolios. Um, you can see some of them on the uh, app foundation. They sell some of their art and they have great, great background in art. I mean, some of the art that they're putting out there is really cool, cutting edge, definitely some stuff that like we've never seen before too, which is great, great green flag. They're very established. They've been doing art for a long time, which is another thing that we like to see. We don't wanna find founders who've just popped out from nowhere or they have no background records or anything like that. So to us, it seems like they know what they're doing. We like their background. We like what they've put out so far. So we are excited um, to see what these founders are gonna do with interfaces. Next, we get to utility. So there's not much to say on this one. So far, there's very limited information on this release with regards to utility, right? There's no Discord for people to talk or ask questions about this. It's only the interactions they're getting with on Twitter. And so far, they haven't announced anything. Now, this is something that we don't really usually look for, right? When we're buying NFTs, when we're investing, we're always looking for utility. We believe that the age of profile picture images are not going to be as you know robust as they were in 2021. So we love projects with utility. Now, we do love the art and it's coming from established founders. So, you know, there are some exceptions to the rule. One thing that we've noticed on their Twitter account is that they're very open about uh, that their utility of this project is going to be the community, right? The community, the people behind this is really pushing the utility here. People are interacting with each other on Twitter. They're talking about it. They're retweeting. There's been a lot of collabs with them on Twitter, right? They are talking to other projects. There's fan art with other projects in their art style. So the community here we think is going to the, be the utility for interfaces. And we're also staying tuned um, to see their Twitter account or if they eventually launch the Discord to see if they're going to be doing any collaborations with other projects. One utility that we're really seeing um, kind of emerge to the NFT marketplace is collaborations with other projects, right? So interfaces could reward holders 
with their upcoming collection drops, um, uh, other collaborations with projects, right? So if I hold an interface, I may get a whitelist spot on a popular project that they uh, have a relationship with. Or if I hold a different project, I might get a whitelist spot for interfaces, right? So that is a type of utility that we're looking for, right? Because whitelisting spots in NFTs are gonna get you a great mint price and you're gonna avoid the gas fees that you would with a public mint. So that can be a utility, so we're, we're keeping our eye out for that. Again, another utility here, uh, we talked about this earlier, can be the art, right? The art is really unique. I mean, I challenge you guys to find a similar type of profile picture that is dynamic with the, the, the uh, GIF or GIF uh, option in these interfaces that has this 3D cartoonish look to it with all these different traits. There is going to be a rarity ranking trait for interfaces, which we always like to see. So the art is really unique enough to get us interested in it. And then if we go to our last indicator metrics, like we like to look at floor price, we like to look at sales volume, we like to look at holders versus, you know, the amount minted. This is a pre-mint um, projects so we don't have any of these metrics to go off of right now we can only really go off community buzz and they're having a ton of community buzz they've got over 143,000 twitter followers which is a ton for a project right usually we see our projects hover around 40 50 maybe 100,000 even but you know because they have no discord a lot of people are following their twitter putting on twitter notifications to see what they're going to talk about next right so they have a huge following on twitter meaning there is a huge community behind this and honestly the no discord part of this project is kind of refreshing right if you are familiar with nft investing if you've done any investing yourself you know you've been a part of discord and yes it's a great place for help for information but if your dms are open you're getting a ton of scam messages you're getting a ton of notifications you're you know there's a ton of people talking in the chat that are is about nothing sometimes right so the no discord is kind of refreshing and kind of puts a bit of a mysterious buzz around this project that we're kind of interested in so after taking our three key performance indicators into account the verdict on interfaces is drum roll please Boom, we're gonna pay the gas. Both me and Jeremy are really excited about this project. Again, the art is unique. They have some good artist founders behind the project. The the no discord, the, the, the cryptic tweets is creating this sort of buzz that we're not seeing from other projects, right? So the utility is there. Again, we're kind of hoping for maybe some partnerships from this project too. So we're very interested. We're gonna pay the gas. Now there has not been a mint date posted for this project yet so we're keeping our eyes peeled we have our twitter notifications on and we're ready to hear there's no mint price there's no mint date there's no nothing but we will be minting when we learn more now we will say the lack of utility is a little concerning for us right we're looking for nfts that might provide you know some in real life benefits or some you know at least established um benefits to holders right like whitelist spots or collaborations airdrops things like that but what our strategy is for this is that we're going to try and mint maybe a few on the public mint date when it releases. I'm sure the floor will shoot up right away because it is a very, very hyped project. We might flip a few for profit and then hold on to one or two just to see what the long-term holds, what the long-term roadmap is for this um, project because there is no released roadmap. This is a project we will definitely be paying the gas for, right? We're excited about it. We have our Twitter notifications on. We're ready to hear more about that mint date and that mint price. So you should too. If you liked this video and it had helpful information for you, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think about interfaces. Are you passing or are you paying the gas? We'd love to know. Stay tuned for some of our next videos next week. And thanks for watching, guys.